Right, let's get whack in. It's good to have you back. <laughs> Just need to, I need some, need some hitting therapy. So uh, I found this nice one. I found this um, quite a while ago, but I just bought it back whole. It's a nice flat stone. Some signs on it. If it's got a nasty in it, I'll crack on and we'll get it prepped. Probably just going to be a one or two proms. But you never know. Might have something nice. It's got a nice little lump here. It's got a bit of a lump there. Like you see the squashed ones on the outside. So yeah, give it a whack. You never know, do you? Could be alright. So like, right, with that one, I've just whacked. You could see there was a blown ammonite on the back. And to be honest, like, I was quite surprised there was that amount of, maybe it's me, uh, quite surprised that there's, you know, that amount, I thought it'd be a lot less than that, but you can sort of see. You've got the ammonite here, on the back which is blown which is like means it's it's not preserved but looking here when i was whacking this out i didn't i weren't expecting that to be anything at all i i, I weren't expecting that to be you know i thought it's just going to be a moshed bit of an ammonite but it's it's quite you know it's looking like it's it's not taken that much off which is a bit of a shame because if i'd have known that Obviously, you don't know before you get into them. If I'd have known that, I'd have kept it whole and just prepped down so I had it sat in a nice bowl. But you live and learn. So what I'm going to do is stick that bit back on and prep down and let's see if it's actually there on that side. And then I can sort the matrix out as a, you know. But it's just a shame because it was a big night. I could have turned it into a big, nice dish bowl. But probably me really being a bit of an idiot uh, but I'll know for next time to check first and that's the thing always learning you know bit of a shame but like you like there look you can sort of see uh, on this one you can sort of see it's gone it's just totally there's nothing there but it's quite a fat ammonite so there might you know potential potential we'll pen down we'll see we'll check uh, we'll crack on with it get the headphones on um, get the tunes going do I go and get a gin I'll go and get a gin oh. went for tea bottled it on the old uh, gin <sighs> just wanted to keep my head didn't want to get too drunk tonight well I don't want to get drunk at all so that's why I'm on the tea uh, but anyway, sorry to disappoint. So back to this bad boy. I whacked some super glue in it. Really thin super glue. So really thin super glue. Works like a capillary action. Goes all the way down the crack. Give it a spray of this bad boy. Make sure you've got plenty of ventilation because the fumes coming off it. They burn your eyes. Uh, but they're not very nice at all. So what I'm going to do is I've marked on where that ammonite roughly is and I'm just going to work down to it. I have done one of these before. Uh, I've got it at the Heritage Centre um, and uh, I think I've shown it on one of my videos. It was quite one that was quite smashed, someone had smashed up on the beach. But I thought, you know what, that might actually prep from the other side. So it might be one where, you know, there's no calcite in it because there's no chambers for the calcite to grow. So. I'm just hoping to try and keep as much shell on it as possible. So hopefully it'll just be like a bright, nice brown uh, asty. Hopefully, if it works out. I should have just prepped it down a lot. I've been a schoolboy really. I didn't keep the nodule. I should have just prepped it down, but it looked too gone. But looking at it from a side split like that, yeah, looks like they might have potential to actually, you know, to look nice to actually be something so yeah we'll crack this on 
time lapse, I'll get my tunes on. I'll drink my tea first. There were no bits in it again. I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm hoping it's uh, it's half decent. But like I say, I'm just a bit annoyed with myself that I naff the nodule up as a. Right, I'm gonna drink tea and then uh, I'm gonna crack on with it. Basically, yeah, so, right, I'm penning. This could be a wasted evening. Uh, it could be, but it could also turn out to be quite nice, which is why I'm doing it. Um, but I did used to have uh, a record. Oh, wait, oh, I've got James's. I used to have a record, uh, like, rotary cutter, uh, but that died. Uh, too much cutting um, actually died loads of times uh, it's, it's not a very good bit of kit but, um, oh, but basically yeah so I might was some cuts in this uh, just to get the rock down a bit because um, it's taking for, for an age it's taking for an age it's taking an age it's taking an age with uh, the air pens so yeah so I'm going to wad some cuts in it, I reckon. Um, I might use James's grinder, try not to cut my fingers off. Game on. But then again, if I pen, I might hit something. Yeah, I might just carry on penning. Because, right, there's the thing, see? If I get a grinder and I put some cuts in it, I can boom, 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 and I can get that rock down in a matter of minutes. But if there are any more decent ammonites sat up around here, say, inside here, I'm going to cut straight through them. So that's, uh, it's kind of like a trade-off. It's like time and finding, an, you know, might nick a rib or, you know, so it's a big trade-off. Do I want to just waz it down first, potentially something that's not very good, or do I take my time and find something that's still intact and nicer in the rock? Uh, but it takes ages. That's the I, take, I think I'm going to go for the latter. I'm just going to carry on with it. I've got some good music. Got that. Got Jimmy to... I've got a bit of Jimmy to keep me going. So, yeah. Let's just crack on, I reckon. Just keep panning. I want to find the first few of them ribs. I should have dug a channel down first before I stuck it, but... Again, I'm not on my game, am I? This is why I'm doing these things. Get back on my game. It used to be good. Pretty awful, now. Eh? Right, so. I did, uh, I did think to myself. I was sat there and I was just thought. I've got Amazon chisels. So, 
I basically, what I've done is I've got a few wax with a hammer and chisel just to get away some of that thing. But I found here, look, there's two little ribs. Boom, two little ribs. But how, where they are, I think it's another ammonite sat on top of this bad one. So hopefully those two ribs, I'm gonna chase them in now and just check. But I reckon that might be um, another ammonite. And uh, if it is, it looks like it's quite a decent size one with the spacing of the ribs. So hopefully I'll have a really, really nice ammonite sat on a potentially not very nice ammonite. But what I might do, if it is, then I'll jigsaw this back together, I think. So it sits in a nice bowl. Um, all depends. Might do. That'd be a big job. <laughs> uh, bit of a jigsaw, in it? Look. look at that and all, got a bloomin' leak. Leaky roof there, look. Culprit. But yeah, hopefully. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna chase those in now and uh, give them a check. See if it is another arm. I think it is, looking at the way it's going. So yeah, hopefully that's another arm and I. <laughs> I reckon I'm going to uh, call it night. We've got quite a big asty, I think, sitting in there. So a nice big ammonite sat in there. Um, and it's, you know, it should be hopefully sat on uh, on another one. You know, should be two, you know, it should be sat on that one that's blown on the other side. So hopefully it should be a nice crystal calcite ammonite sat on a brown shelled one so uh yeah it's nice see if i'd have got me uh me grinder and grind that down to get you know and then i'd have tapped it i'd have been crying because i'd have just cut through a beautiful so yeah slow and steady wins the day uh so yeah that is good practice because that's quite a small as well small small a lot smaller than the one that's in that block so that's quite you know it might be four or five inches if it's bigger i'd be quite impressed um quite impressed with five inches uh but yeah no it, you know that's it's going to be a good sort of get me into it for when i uh get the pen on that bad boy uh but it's hard going um yeah the flat stone it's really uh it's really sticky as well um so what I'm, you what you have to do is you have to trace basically trace like the shell like just tickle it so when you get to the shell that's in the chambered section you know you're going to want to pop that off anyway so you you can really sort of yeah if the shell's quite thick there you want you're going to want to pop that off and then underneath you've got that beautiful calcite so uh normally you can keep it on the body chamber because if you pop it off it's just filled with sediment so yeah so try and keep it on there might have to give it an air braid and a slight little bit of a sand wet and dry just to smooth it off a bit but yeah i'm happy um bit gutted i might now i might try and fit some of these bits back in to be honest just to get the shape of the piece again because it'd be nice in a big round or would it i don't know i could maybe shape that round maybe shape it around so it's like a nice whoosh, like yeah i don't know 
yeah anyway uh like i say it's midnight it's not midnight it's nearly half midnight so uh yeah i'm gonna uh give it a rest for this evening and uh hopefully i'll be in work tomorrow pending test results uh yeah so um Yeah, it's half midnight, so I'm gonna go in. I'm tired. But yeah. Take that off, shut this off. I'm finding some massive bloody spiders in here as well. There's a massive false widow down there. There's a massive one of them wolfy spiders down there. It's not nice. Get some, uh... but then again, they keep all bugs down, don't they? I reckon that false widow would eat a rat. <laughs> <laughs>